Four games to go, the Bulls against Fleet Town. Today sees the last but one home game for Jersey Bulls in the season 22-23. A game, if they secure three points today, will pretty much guarantee that they finish in third place this season. Still a possibility, an outside one, of them finishing in a promotion spot. But for Fleet Town, everything to play for. They could end up in a little bit of a battle with Banstead Athletic who have played two games less and Fleet are five get points ahead of them. The referee today is Thomas Healy from Uxbridge Hillingdon and assisted by local Jersey assistants in Harry Walker and Stefan Roman. Well a slightly earlier kickoff today one o'clock sun's pretty warm well Van der Vliet today makes his 100th appearance for the club and joins a quartet now of those with 100 caps. Pretty solid achievement for anyone playing that many games for a club that started in 2018. And we're underway here. Now Leki Mamati down the right-hand side, touch there. Henne Kamau early into it. Looks for the one-two with Lekki Mamati. Can he get it? He does. It's missed. Watson. A well, good save in the end by Smart in goal. A smart save, you might say. Jay Giles in front of us here. Waits for it and Van der Vliet spots him. Nunes is there. Jay Giles with a flick ahead of him. Now Henia Kamau. Henia Kamau plays it inside first time. Back to Giles. Takes a shot. Oh, well, just goes past the left-hand post of Callum Smart. And a really fast start here for the Reds of the Jersey Bulls. Into Lacane. 99 games for him today. One away from that club. Here comes Giles. Nunes comes across. Giles again, edge of the box. Watson has got forward. Lacane with a cross first time. Bickley turns. Well, he just can't get control of the ball in the middle there, Lorne Bickley. And as he spins, tries to get the shot off, isn't able to maintain control of the ball and it goes through again to Smart. Quick ball by Van der Vliet for Giles again. Nunes comes across. Lacane into Henry Kamau. Nice touch by him. He's straight through into the box. Henry Kamau, shot comes in. Good save again by Smart down to his left. Sharp from him. Ball still have it, edge of the box. Space here. Jay Giles, will he take the shot? He thinks about it, goes inside, shot comes in. Oh, and just past the right-hand post of Smart. And another, well, it looks like it's taken a deflection, whether it was Smart or maybe whether it came off one of the Blues players. It's going to be a corner to the balls of first of this first half. Ten minutes gone, and it's flown by here. It will be Jay Giles now. Plays it in. Looking for Leki Mamati, who's out jumped there by Witter. Not really a competition there. Witter much taller than Leki Mamati. Ball's coming now to the far side. Campbell has stayed up front. Campbell squares it. Bickley with the shot. Oh, and it goes past in the end, a little bit further wide than it may have looked first time. But again, another attack by the Bulls coming close. And it comes near post, flicked. Well, in fact, it's Blake who's there. Head is it straight back out. Giles now. In it comes. Flicked on by Campbell to Bigley. And it's a goal. Well, it's not. The flag is up on the far side. What looked like the breakthrough goal is cancelled out. The assistant referee has got his flag up. And it will not count. What a lovely little bit of play there. The corner comes in. Blake clears it the first time. Straight back out to Giles. As it comes back in. Campbell heads it on. But Bigley is offside. And the goal that is scored will not count. Didn't need VAR for that one. Pretty straightforward. Assistant referee doing the job. Now Lacane, Lecky and Matty again down that right-hand side. First time ball in. Nunes is there, flicks it, but it, Watson is behind him. Giles supports, plays it back inside. Well, Jay Giles has been allowed to get there. He's going to play it forward to Bickley. Oh, just over him. Lecky and Matty. And then Smart with the grab. 
Jay Giles it will be. In it comes. Oh, well at the back post, James Kerry. Can't quite believe it's fallen to him. Maybe just a flick there. Looks like it might well be Witter who gets the last touch in the end. Possibly Blake who's back there and it just is enough to probably take it away from the feet of James Kerry. But it'll be a corner which Lecky Mamati will take. In it comes. Header for Watson and it's there! Well, Luke Watson, we've seen it already in the few games he's played. He's at, say, a few, he's into 20 now. But Luke Watson rises at the far post and his header directed on target and it goes into the back of the net. And the breakthrough has come. The Bulls have taken the lead and the goal scorer is Luke Watson. Well, it's a good delivery from Lekima Mati. All comes to Watson and he makes no mistake jumps times it to perfection full head on that smart with no chance 31 minutes gone and the first goal of the game goes to the balls can the blues get back on level terms here comes the cane again jay giles has got so much space here we'll take it into the box squares it Oh, Selecki Mamati with the shot. Well, again, it's not come off anyone this time. It's going to be a goal kick, but lots and lots of space. And this new formation, said it before, going to say it again. It's opening up the back of the Blues defence. It's spreading them wide, but Nunes is being dragged inside. And as a result of that, Jay Giles has virtually got as much space as he wants. Forward it goes. No challenge though. Jay Giles able to just head it forward. Then Campbell flicked on by Lacane. And then a bit of a clash. But here comes McGlashan. McGlashan with the shot. Oh, and it wasn't that far away in the end. Just going over the up upright angle of the post and the bar. Good power in his shot there from the player manager. Henny Kamau on the right hand side this time will go up against Wednesday, cuts inside. Henny Kamau still going onto his left foot, takes the shot. Oh, just past Smart left hand post. And again, a bit of space this time on the right hand side. Lekim Amati again, he's going to look first time for Bickley. Bickley heads it back. Lekane with the shot. Well, Johnny Lekane, first time, half volley. Oh, and then Smart up against, looks like he hits. Gorman in the back there as he tries to clear it quickly and the Bulls have got a chance again to come forward. Henny Kamau stays up. Lecane, Trotter. Trotter, will he take the shot? No, plays it to Bickley. Giles is unmarked again, in it comes. Cleared, only as far as Lecane. Giles again, more pressure coming here. The Blues withstanding it at the moment. Bickley's just holding his run. Bickley now cuts inside. Bickley, will he take the shot? He does. Oh, Lorne Bickley. Again, it's inches past the left upright. Callum Smart was beaten. The ball just didn't quite bend enough as he left the foot, the right boot of Bickley. And it was always looking for that bottom keeper's left hand corner. In the end, just couldn't quite get it to curve in enough. Here come the balls again, though. Henny Kamau, Lekiba Mati. In it comes Henny Kamau. Well defended by Gorman again, staying tight to him. Flicked on, falls now to Giles. Well, it's come off the head there of the skipper Witter. And it falls right onto Jay Giles' left boot, his favoured foot. He takes the shot. And again, Smart is happy to see that one going over. Lacane now Giles again. Giles, time to run. He gets it to Bickley, edge of the box. Will he shoot? He does. Well, in the end, it's at Callum Smart, who just for a second has to have a second bite at it. He gets his hands to it. Smart again, looking out here. Young misses the header, like him Mati. Brewer there. Oh, he's tracked down by Henny Kamau. Henny Kamau's passed. Henny Kamau, can he finish? He can! 
Well, Helia Kamau has made it 2 0. A little bit of a mistake by the Blues. Helia Kamau pounces on it. He goes round smart. He takes it across and has to just have a little bit of composure there as the Blues try and get back. But in the end, Helia Kamau finishes it off, puts it into the back of the net. And it's Jersey Bulls 2, Fleet Town 0. Your goal scorer, 57 minutes gone, is the number nine, Samuel Henia Kamau. Well, there's just again this second half has now sparked into life. The goal has seemed to have done it. Now Trotter plays it inside. Henia Kamau again. Henia Kamau squares it. Oh, it's the Kane who hits the post. Everyone beating smart with no chance. It comes off the upright. It hits Nunes and it will be a corner. Well, Johnny LeCane, but for the woodwork, would have made it three. Plays it forward to Wensley, who's done well there. Good play by Mansell. And it goes. First time ball in. It's going to fall to Young with a shot. Ooh, well, it was always looking like it was going to go over. Tries to bring it down, but it was rising from the minute he left his foot. Well, it's that time of the game, isn't it, where you look at who has been the player of the match. And there's a few contenders today. Of course, the player of the match will be a call for a Bulls player because this is the Bulls media. And the choice has been made. Number three, Jay Giles. Player of the match will be Jay Giles today, who's just taken over on this left-hand flank. Oh, and shot comes in just as we're talking about that. Young nearly brings one back there. There is the player of the match, Jay Giles. Tries to get it back, he does. Still going, Giles squares it, Henia Kamau. And it came out, can't get a shot on. Does now, hits the bar. And then the follow up from Boyle, just on the edge of the six yard box, goes over the bar. Well, Henia came out, how did he manage to get that shot off? He managed somehow, he looked like he'd run out of room on that far side. Manages to keep it in, gets it on, and takes the shot, and then boom, off the bar. Well, twice in this second half, the Bulls have hit the woodwork. The post, the first time coming to the rescue, the bar this time. Smart rolls it out. Puts it forward, but again, the Bulls head it there. Kerry this time, but it does come back. And now Young, he's got a bit of space. Cuts inside Young. Still going into the box, still going. Can he get the cross in? Blocked again, this time by Tobin. Short ball there, and it's given away, and Mansell's picked it up. Young gets it back. In it goes again, and it's, it's in. Well, unbelievable. It looked like, in the end, it's Nathan Rogers in the middle. Whether he gets a touch or not, or it's actually, it looks like it's being claimed there by Connor Young. And in the end, he, as Rogers comes in, he just ducks under it. It totally confuses everyone. It catches Van der Vliet out, who leaves it, thinking that maybe the head is coming, and it just creeps into the far corner. Well, whatever time is left here, is there a frantic few moments for the Blues? Wensley preps himself, everyone is going forward. Forward comes Smart, Smart is further forward. There's one Blues player staying back. Other than that, everybody is forward now. Wensley looks at the go, it comes in. Oh, and it's inches past Van der Vliet's right hand post. And in the end, it can't have been far wide from making it 2-2. Two -two. And that is gonna be the end here at Springfield Stadium. As the Blues players, some of them go to their hands and knees. They fought hard, they battled all afternoon. But in the end, despite the late, late goal by Connor Young to make it 2-1, they are beaten here by the Jersey Bulls, who scrape home, having dominated the game for most of the first half and about half of the second. And then the changes coming by the Blues management, making a big difference, especially Jello. Rogers, Mansell, Lul and Hakim Habib just maybe switching a bit of pressure onto the Bulls. But in the end, the Bulls hang on 
they hang on for the second victory of the week. Having won 2 0 against Guildford, they've hung on at Springfield to win 2 1 and pick up six points in a week. Well, fair play to the Blues. For those who are watching back at Fleet, your boys did you proud today. They couldn't quite in the end find the equaliser, but they stuck to it. As the sun continues to shine here, shining on the Bulls' victory and the crowd make their way off. There will be action in midweek, the last away trip of the season in midweek for the Bulls. They will go to Collier's Wood on Wednesday night and that'll be coming to you on the stream. We hope you've enjoyed watching this afternoon as the players make their way off. It's been a good, entertaining, in the end, close game. The Bulls are the victors. The final score here, Jersey Bulls 2, Fleet Town 1. We'll see you next time.